Hey everybody, great to have you back here in the fish tank. Now we've got some news today and depending on the platform you play on, it's going to be either good news or bad news. Now, we all know that the 2.0 launch has been rocky to say the least. And I'm very frustrated just overall, just generally the, the problems we've been having. And, um, and that's despite me having pretty good experience with the game, just... Keeping up to date on the Steam forums, Reddit, uh, Discord, everything like that. Just seeing the wealth of the issues that everybody's having is it's really quite disappointing. Um, but Hotfix 3 is here today. Which, if you're on PC, is great. Because, as always, the update rolls out on Steam and uh, everyone's happy. But, unfortunately, if you're on Xbox... It's still bad news. And this to me is really frustrating because one of the main sort of uh, promises, if you like, was that with the benefits of 2.0, the better stability, performance, stuff like that, Xbox was going to fill these benefits the most. And unfortunately, whilst I still believe eventually that will be true unfortunately it's been pretty awful for xbox so far um and i've spoken to the devs about it and um i've, I've kind of been aware of what's been going on but i've been a little bit, bit frustrated that they haven't been more transparent regarding the situation uh so i've got some updates for you hot off the press uh regarding the situation with xbox um this is not a, an officially sanctioned message yet. It's not been uh, sanctioned as okay to go out by the powers that be. So I'm going to paraphrase it a little bit to try not to get into anyone into trouble. But I appreciate the devs giving us a, a heads up on what's going on here. And, and hopefully we'll get this uh, word officially out there. So reminder, Hotfix 3 is out on Steam now. Servers are up so you can play that. Now, what's included in Hotfix 3, uh, there'll be a card up here somewhere. I did a previous video regarding that. Another thing that's frustrated me a bit is that uh, there's a lot of stuff like game fixes that are included in the Hotfix, but they're not specifically mentioned in the patch notes. And from speaking to the devs, there's no easy way that they can tell me exactly what is and what isn't in there at the moment, which... It's very frustrating from a tournament operator's uh, organizer's point of view because, you know, I need to know, we need to know what is and isn't broken so that we can ban uh, as appropriate. Now, there is the potential for a tournament this weekend. It hasn't been confirmed or denied yet. We're going to make a, a last decision tomorrow, probably. Uh, but I'm very frustrated with a lot of things at the moment. So Hotfix 3 coming out is good, but it's not if you're on Xbox. So what is the situation with xbox so again to paraphrase the information that i've been given here so before 2.0 released microsoft told minions uh told beta dwarf that the game just wasn't up to scratch on xbox basically it was crashing too much it wasn't stable enough there were a lot of issues with regards to it and that needed to be fixed um so that was something they were aware of before 2.0, but, you know, obviously there was so much going on with 2.0 anyway, and then to be told they need to fix all of these additional things as well uh, just meant that they weren't able to do that. Um, and as they've said in the past, when 2.0 released, it was worse than they expected, right? There was a lot of problems that uh, we know we had some early hotfixes to fix critical things. Um, and of course, when they're having to do work on these critical things that need doing right now, then these things that uh, are less critical but do need doing get delayed. So uh, basically what happened is that's triggered Microsoft to do a full review of the game. So previously, uh, the, the devs were able to just say, look, we're going to patch this. Xbox would just do a little sort of certification of whatever they needed to do and, and the hotfixes would go out without very much of a delay on Xbox. Um, but now there's a full review of the game that's been triggered by Microsoft. So basically what they've said is that 
we're not going to allow you to update the game any further until you fix these things. You get the game into this state, and they've, I believe they've given the devs a, a list of things that need resolving. Which, um, which is why Hotfix 3 has been delayed. Because Hotfix 3 has been ready to go for a good while, but obviously... Ideally, we want to keep PC and Xbox on the same version, so cross-play and stuff like that still works. You know, that's always the key, uh, to keep everything on the same version. Uh, but we know we had that problem over Christmas where the first hotfix rolled out, or the second, onto PC. But the it was delayed for ages on Xbox. So for a good like couple of weeks over Christmas, we had PC and Xbox on different versions and effectively, you know... Uh, being completely separate from each other right so that's what delayed the hotfix 2 the uh the, the full uh review of the game now so hotfix 2 um was given approval and as i said that was late compared to to, to pc um but that came with a list of things that needed to be fixed before they would allow another update. So those are the things that they, they've been working on with regards to Hotfix 3. And the idea was that Hotfix 3 was going to roll out onto Steam and Xbox at the same time. But this Tuesday, when the season finished, it didn't really finish, there was just a timer in the game that finished. When that finished, uh, that caused the servers to crash. And to fix that, they needed another update. But of course, they weren't allowed to do an update. Um, they were able to update the PC version on Steam, get that up and running very quickly, and that was great. But of course, the situation with Xbox requiring the full certification, even though the devs asked them, can we put out this emergency hotfix that needs to be done? They said, no, we're not going to allow you to do that. Uh, you need, before any updates are going to be applied to Xbox, then uh, you're going to have to fully get this certification completed for the for the Hotfix 3. So that left us in the awkward situation where PC got up and running and Xbox was offline for the, not for the foreseeable future, but until this certification was completed. Now the devs made the decision, well, we're waiting for Hotfix 3 on PC um, because we can't hotfix Xbox at the same time. But if Xbox is offline anyway, let's just roll out Hotfix 3 for PC. There's no point making PC wait for the update if there's no there's no reason for them to do it. So that's why suddenly we went from, mm, we're not, probably not going to see the hotfix for a week or so, to suddenly it's today. The hotfix 3 is out on PC. So that's where we are now. Hotfix 3 is out on PC. And we're awaiting to see what happens with Microsoft and the certification. And when that, hopefully the current build gets certified. And then um, I think that will bring them up to a better standard with Microsoft. And then going forward, maybe they can get back to rolling out the Xbox patches far more quickly than they've been um, able to do. So hopefully, and I appreciate the devs giving us this information. Hopefully this gives... It certainly helped me understand it more, and hopefully this gives you um, a better understanding of what's going on. Because, you know, something being broken is bad enough, but something being broken and not knowing why, not knowing whose fault it is, even though it's not really anyone's fault, but, uh, you know, not knowing what the delay is, not knowing what's being done to fix it, what are the next steps, stuff like that. That's frustrating. So I always encourage anyone to be just open and honest and transparent in these situations. So hopefully... Um, I've given you enough information here uh, and uh, this update should go out on the Discord or Steam or whatever, wherever, uh, hopefully sometime soon. So, as I said at the start of this video, good news for PC, bad news for Xbox, which unfortunately is a really frustrating recurring theme that maybe one day will be resolved. I do hope that we can get through this. You know, and I'm as frustrated as the rest of you. Even You know, I, I don't play on Xbox, but I can imagine just how frustrated, frustrating it is, especially if you've been playing for years and you were promised a much better experience and then suddenly it just got even worse to a point where you can't even play the game anymore. Um, 
it does worry me, of course, when I look at the all of the negative feedback, the, the viewer count, the sorry, the, 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 the player count dropping on Steam and now Xbox can't play at all. And then, you know, what's going to happen with mobile? And, it, you know, I do worry what the future holds. I just hope as the, the core of the community can hold together, I'm going to keep trying to be as positive as I can, even though it, it does, it is difficult at times. I do get frustrated for sure. Uh, because, you know, this has been a moment, this 2.0 update, we've been waiting for a long time now, and it's been <laughs> basically awful. But hopefully, uh, 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 this hotfix will improve things even better. And then, you know, we've got the new patch, which is going to be in February sometime. Um, again, that's undetermined because of the delays uh, with Xbox and getting everything certified. Anyway. Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. Don't be too cruel. Um, but fingers crossed we can get through this together. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do, just to bring you guys up to date. Reminder, if you want to see what's going on in the hotfix, the, the fixes, have a look at the card up here somewhere. I, I don't know. I don't know which way to point. It's like the other side. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. Anyway, guys, take care. Thanks for joining me. I'm Bad Fish, and if you've enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.